What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up dependency injection in a very simple, modular way, which does not require you to use a dependency injection framework. This handwritten dependency injection implementation, or build logic as I like to call it, is suitable for small to medium scale applications. If you are building a very large scale application, then writing this code can be very tedious, in which case I do recommend using Dagger 2. Dependency injection in simple English really just means giving an object its dependencies. In the application we've been building, our view model classes talk to repository interfaces to perform I.O. operations on the data. These repository interfaces can therefore be said to be dependencies of the view model classes. Again, the key difference here is that if the view model builds its own dependency, as you can see on the right example here, this is not dependency injection. As I have said time and time again, likely the most important concept in good software design is separation of concerns. Dependency injection is a form of separation of concerns, except that instead of separating things like user interface code, logic, and data, we are separating things which use dependencies from things which create dependencies. As Martin Fowler summarizes it very well, Dependency injection is about separating configuration from use. The way which I separate objects that build repositories from the objects which use repositories in this project is by writing an injector class for each feature of the application. This class extends Android view model, which is a subclass of view model designed to hold on to an instance of the application context. The idea is simple. For each dependency that I require, I will write the code necessary to build that dependency and provide a public function which can be called for another class to get a hold of that dependency. In this case, we will be providing dependencies for a view model, so we actually end up giving the repository to a view model factory object, which we'll look at next. Note list view model factory is in some sense also an application of separating configuration from use. This is the class I give the repository to, and then it in turn gives that repository and the appropriate coroutine dispatcher to noteless view model. The only other piece of this puzzle is the place where we actually make our calls to our DI implementation, which in this case is within the onStart function of a fragment. View model provider, which is how we actually get a hold of our view models, accepts a view model provider factory object as a second parameter, which I showed you moments ago. So all we do is we create an instance of the note list injector, give it context so that it can build room, and then invoke its function to return a factory. There are many other approaches to separating configuration from use, such as using the service locator pattern, which I also use quite frequently. The approach I showed you today hopefully gave you a way to start applying dependency injection without spending weeks configuring Dagger 2. We've all been there, and yeah, it sucks. If you found this tutorial helpful, please do me a favor and hit the like button down below, follow us on your preferred social media networks, and keep checking out the channel for more great content. Thank you for watching.